In this video, we will talk about the Qmetrix real-time monitoring page. The, the real-time monitoring page is accessed directly via a link from the Qmetrix homepage. So, from, from the, the homepage that we are looking at at the moment, if we just uh, click on this uh, link here, it takes us through to the real-time monitoring page. The real-time monitoring page is divided into um, different panels, which we will go through now. Right at the top, we can, we can see that uh, we have um, uh, a reload button uh, that allows to reload the page straight away. Uh, then we have an update time. Now, this, this shows us uh, the latest um, timestamp. Um, also, next to that, we have a reload load drop-down menu. Uh, at the moment it's set at 10 seconds, however we can set this, this to say for example 5 seconds. So the, 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 the page will auto-refresh every 5 seconds. Um, after that we have a recap. Now recap um, it shows or hides the table that contains the summary of calls by queue. So if I chose to hide for argument's sake you would see that the, 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 the following table it has disappeared. Okay so we show it again and the same applies to calls it, it would make this table here disappear and the same applies to agents. It, would, it, it shows um, or hides the agents currently docked in table. Now the, um, the queues, this shows all the queues or only the active queues. Um, next to that we have agents. This allows us to toggle between all agents or members only agents, i.e. non-members of a queue. Location. Now, if uh, you know, if granted by user permissions, this defines which location is shown. Then we we have group. To group to here we can define which agent group is shown, given that we can subdivide the agents into groups. Next to that, we have supervisor. This um, filters out any agents that are not supervised by the current user. We then have a button, which is the Add Member button. Now, the Add Member button um, allows the, the, exactly the, um, the, the same functionality as, um, as the Add Member in the Agent page. So, um, this, um, this button allows the administrator to add the agent to a queue as, as required. Um, obviously, um, the, uh, the administrator would need to enable um, a, a, a security key in order to be able to add agents directly from the, from the real-time page. Um, if we just go through the um, through to the to the next area, um, next to the um, next to the control table, there is the the data section. So depending on the on the status of of the the, the drop downs uh, selected in the control table, the, the the three sections would vary. The first here is the first table here shows a summary of all calls that flow through the queues. Um, then we have calls being processed uh, which shows all the calls that are currently handled by the queue system. And at the, at the bottom we have uh, a panel showing us all the agents that are logged in at the moment. If we start from the top, uh, we can see that the top status, status panel here, it shows us a quick status report for the current situation. So what we can see is the following. First of all, we can see queue. This is the name of the queue. Uh, here we have a composite queue selected. If we, if we had um, a, an atomic queue uh, and it was an inbound queue, it would be, it would be marked by a green symbol while outbound queues would are marked by yellow colored symbol. Then we have uh, N agents, so it shows how m the number of agents, it shows how many agents are logged onto the system in total. Ready agents, this, this defines how many agents are ready to take calls. That means how many agents are logged on 
uh, but are not in conversa conversation or on pause. You can see that this area is um, has a yellow background. The reason for this is that uh, uh, you can have um, alarms. You can set alarms um, for for the various sections um, to set the the, the alarms, um, which are normally yellow or red. You from from the um, from from the home page, you would go and uh, ed edit the queue, and then in the, within within the queue, you would uh, go through the settings and then set the various alarms here. If we just go back to the uh, to the home page again, then we have on pause. This shows us how many agents are currently on pause. Um, then we have UNK. Now the UNK stands for unknown, which means how many agents are currently in conversation but are not currently known as members of the queue. BSY stands for busy. It tells us how many agents who are both members of the of the queue uh, are currently busy because they are on a call on perhaps on another queue. Uh, this this stands for uh, number of calls waiting. So how many inbound calls are waiting in the selected queue? Um, obviously, outbound queues would never have any any calls waiting. On phone, uh, inbound and outbound, of course, define how many agents are talking either on, on the inbound or on the outbound queues. The, um, the next uh, sec sec uh, section that we have is the calls being processed. Um, so, in this, this, uh, this section here at the moment is empty given that there, there is no call taking place. Uh, what I will do now is I will, I will make a call so we will see that this, uh, this area will now be, um, be populated as the call um, com comes in. There. Now you can see that there is um, a call. Uh, the call has come in on, uh, on the inbound queue and uh, so that is the queue that is handling the call. Then we have caller, so that this is the caller ID if that should be available. We can see the time that the, the call entered the queue. Now at the moment you can see in green that the call is waiting because I haven't answered that yet. If we now answer the call we, we will see that we have a yellow alarm given that it has taken too long for the call to be answered. Um, next to that we have the duration. Uh, the, obviously that uh, shows the, um, the, the duration of the call. Um, next, uh, and, but that is for the moment that's an estimated time. Once the call is terminated we will have the exact total time. Um, this is the agent that is dealing with the call. Uh, before you may have noticed that there was a number one next to the agent, which means that the queue attempted at least once to connect to the agent without without the call being picked up. Uh, MOH stands for um, music on hold. Now this, this field shows the amount of time that the customer is on hold with music during a call. Um, if, if, if that is applicable then we would see the amount of time here. Um, if for example we, should have, we, sh we may have multiple hold instances during the call then this field would show the total on hold time. Uh, after that, well, you can see an SRV column, which is used in a cluster-based environment to tell us on which server the call is being handled. At the end of this um, of this section, you can see that there is a, a wand. Now, the wand has uh, various options available. Uh, this is uh, on mouse over. We can see this what it's, uh, this uh, drop-down menu. The first one we can see is VNC, uh, which allows us to monitor agents via v a VNC remote session. IM um, allows to begin an instant messaging messaging se session with uh, with an agent. QA allows us to access the QA form for the specific, uh, this specific uh, call. Then we have close. Now close allows us to close the call in the QMetrics log but not in asterisk. Uh, we have hang up which instead allows us to close the live call in the PBX. Uh, below that transfer which of course allows us to transfer the call to another extension and monitor now. Monitor now uh, permits to start a, a, a listen-in uh, chance by um, asterisk uh, session. 
if we um, if if we go to the um, to the next session, uh, what we can see is the agents currently um, currently logged in. Now um, here, the the first thing you can see is uh, is a gr um, a green dot. Now the uh, the green dot stands for um, stands for the agent being ready to take calls. So you, you you may or may not have noticed that during during the call um, that dot had changed color. Uh, it it became orange, which means that the the agent was on a call. So if we just uh, um, if we just um, have um, a call, uh, if we should have a, a call coming in in, the, in this moment, um, you would see that um, that the the the, the color of um, of this um, of this icon changes. So in this moment, as you can see, we have a call a call that is happening. So the color has changed, given that our agent is busy. Um, next to that, uh, we can see the um, uh, the last uh, logon, the last agent logon. Then we have the queues. The queues field. Um, this shows the queues that the agent is uh, is logged on to. Um, this is not meaningful o only for agents who log in on a queue by queue basis using the the add member command um, uh, in asterisk. Um, if 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 an if an agent should log on to all queues he's enabled to to work on then we may here we may see like a small uh, database uh, logo uh, shown which would would tell us that the agent is linked to queues through the asterisk configuration um, next to that we have uh, extension it shows us the agents uh, extension on pause this would be um, populated if if our agent uh, should 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 define a pause be it uh, I don't know on lunch or uh, sending an email or whatever then the pause code would be shown here and we would know that the agent is on pause SRV as above um, here we have the last we have last call and on queue these two fields show the start or disconnect time of the last call that the agent handled um, and on which queue the last call uh, was um, this this can be useful to diagnose uh, any queue strategy problems that lead to uh, unfair call distribution or agents having problems with their telephones and therefore not taking calls correctly. Um, as above, um, the, in, in the, the, last, uh, the, the last field um, on mouse over we have uh, a wand which which displays a drop down menu um, obviously we have uh, VNC and IM uh, as before uh, and then we have remove member uh, which removes an agent uh, from a queue Below that, you can see pause agent. It puts an agent into a, a pause state. On pause, obviously, removes the the agent from from the pause state, and the agent is now available to take calls again. And send text message. The send text message uh, allows us to send uh, an SMS uh, to to an agent. Um, something to notice is that the SMS functionality works only with Asterisk 10 plus versions. Obviously, for all of these to 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 all of these um, options to be available, we we must have certain keys enabled. So, um, oh, oh, something else for this page is that you can see here is that th there is the option to export data. So we can export data as a spreadsheet file or in various formats such as CSV or XML. In brief, the the real time the real time page is is really in, invaluable. It's invaluable because it can tell you in a glimpse really what's happening in the call center. Um, it, it's really meant to stay open uh, in a window on the call center manager's workstation, uh, and this allows to have the exact feeling of what is going on in the call center at any given moment.